The new meter features four parameter measurement of pH, conductivity or salinity, dissolved oxygen and temperature at one go. This meter is specially designed for aquaculture and field testing. The meter comes in the hard carrying case, where user is able to carry anywhere in the field. Unlock the case by lifting the red latch. Let us run through the items in the package. We have here an operational menu, three sachets of calibration solutions, one bottle of electrolyte, two spare membrane cap for DO probe maintenance, the main meter, three submissible probes, and batteries to be installed to the meter. Please read the manual carefully before you begin. Set up the meter according to your preference. Let's take a look at the meter. The meter is fully waterproof and can be used in any weather condition. Open the battery cover behind with a Phillips head screwdriver. Place 6 AAA battery according to the polarity. Make sure the O-ring is fully seated in the groove before replacing the battery cover. Replace all screws and tighten. The meter comes with three probes attached. You do not need to disconnect any sensor until they require replacement. Switch on the meter. We can see four sections on display. Top left for pH, top right for temperature, bottom left for dissolved oxygen, bottom right for salinity or conductivity. Notice both pH and temperature icons are flashing. This indicates the temperature display is for pH probe. Pressing the mode button will switch selection to DO and temperature icon. This indicating the temperature display is for DO probe. Pressing the mode button again will switch selection to conductivity and temperature icon. This indicating the temperature display for conductivity probe. Whenever the icon is flashing, it also indicates you can perform calibration for the selected parameter. There are three sensors, pH, conductivity, and dissolved oxygen sensor. The pH sensor comes in a one meter cable. Do note that the pH sensor is an electrochemistry sensor that will expire on extensive usage and require replacement when meter fails to be calibrated. Regular calibration is required for the pH sensor depending on usage and condition of storage. Frequency of calibration will vary as such. Due to the chemical content in the sensor, it is made for deep tests only. Prolonged soaking in water will cause premature expiry. The pH sensor comes with a cap and closed with a wet sponge to keep the sensor hydrated. When the pH glass sensor is dry, it will take a longer time to obtain a stabilized reading. So always keep the cap on whenever not in use. On first use, the pH sensor must be calibrated against three standard solutions. They are pH 7, 4.01, and 10.01. We have attached a single use sachet each. You can purchase more solution from your dealer. Rinse the sensor with tap water and soak the sensor for a few minutes. After soaking, ensure the pH icon is selected and flashing. Shake off excess water on sensor and always begin with pH 7 sachet. Shake to remove bubble inside sachet. Press and hold down curl button till the pH display is flashing and the curl and temperature alternate on the right. Wait for the display to flash, then press OK. The display will show SA shortly indicating calibration is completed. Before moving to the next solution, remember to rinse the sensor in tap water a few times to avoid contamination. Now repeat the same steps, but dip in pH 4.01 sachet. Shake to remove bubbles. 
When all three standards are complete, you can start using the pH measurement. The conductivity sensor comes in 1 meter cable. It's a solid state sensor and is factory calibrated, so no calibration is required unless the sensor is dirty and after deep cleaning. If sensor is suspected to be erroneous, perform a check and recalibrate as necessary. The DO sensor comes in 3 meter cable for pond measurement. The sensor comes without electrolyte for prolonged storage. Set up the sensor for the first time as follows. Remove the prop guard. The membrane cap is loosely installed to allow filling of the electrolyte. Unscrew and remove the cap. Fill it with the attached electrolyte to two-thirds of the level. Carefully replace the cap till it covers the black O-ring. Do not over-tighten. Note that the membrane is stretched while installed. Therefore, the membrane can only be used once and reusing the same membrane may cause erroneous reading. Each and every time when new membrane and electrolyte are replaced, let the sensor fully polarize for at least 90 minutes. Note that polarization is required whenever sensor is disconnected from the meter or when batteries are removed from the meter. Hence, batteries and sensor should always be connected to allow meter to maintain polarization of the sensor so no waiting time is needed thereafter. Before a series of tests, always perform a calibration. To calibrate the sensor, only perform calibration in an open area that is not crowded. Note that the temperature difference between the water temperature and ambient air must not be greater than 10 degrees Celsius, otherwise error will occur during the measurement. Hold the sensor head facing down and swirl a little. Press mode button to select DO icon flashing. Press the percentage or PPM button to display DO in percentage. Press and hold down cow button until DO display flashes and temperature display section alternate cow and temperature reading. Wait for another 10 seconds for the DO reading to stabilize, then press the mode OK button. Display will show 100% momentarily and display resume. Press the percentage PPM button to switch DO display to PPM. Calibration is completed and you can start using the DO probe. Do remember that the DO probe is a galvanic type sensor and it consumes oxygen on the surface of the membrane. Hence, during measurement, the DO probe must be stirred continuously or jiggle up and down to refresh water in contact with the membrane. Otherwise, the reading display will not be correct. Also, do note that the measurements are affected by water salinity and atmospheric pressure. The meter is able to automatically compensate for this, but please read the manual and preset them before continuing measurement. Hope you have a grasp of the new HM3070 Aqua Combo Meter. Thank you.